Okay. Uh, all the way that way and to the left, there's a side of grace. Then there's a coffin. You're going to get in the coffin. As a cutscene in the coffin, kind of worth watching. It's a little different than the Scarlet Rock coffin you got into. And then I'll meet you over there. Where the coffin takes me? Yeah. Should be, I'm yes, right. Level 90, Mr. Shane. Proud of you. Definitely made it a lot further than I thought I would. How far did you think you were going to get in this game? Not very far. I thought I was going to play it once and then never touch it again. And it seems like you're actually like thoroughly enjoying this game. I am. I'm not just playing it, just to play it. I'm actually like... Still don't understand the storyline or anything that's happening, but it's just fun to play. Yeah. The story probably won't come out for like a couple months, at least. I'm just floating in a coffin? Yeah. <laughs> the words are carrying me. They, they save so much time on world building by having all of the like lore of the game being in item descriptions. So people have to read like all of the item descriptions and then figure out what everything is. And they'll kind of like piece the story together through that. Do you know any part of the story so far? Uh, yeah, I know a bit. I don't know who brought everyone back to life, but... Um, basically, the Elden Ring broke. And I think the dude that the um, Turtle Pope tells you about, I think that's mm -hmm. the final boss. I don't know if he's talking about General Radon, we fought in the desert, or if he's talking about the guy that we fought at the end, because they have very similar names. But, um, I think he might have brought everyone back to life from me having rewatched the opening cutscene. Mm -hmm. And so he brings the Tarnished back to find someone to become the new Elden Lord, and, um, through Fia's quest line, you can repair the Elden Ring. Because I guess she's an option to like end the game. A couple different ways you can end the game, but not all of them are worth achievements. And then uh, Ronnie wants to like basically destroy this place because it's kind of like purgatory, and she wants to just like separate it back to how it like should be, with death being death and life being life. Mm -hmm. And um, then there's the frenzied flame, which literally just wants to destroy everything. And so we With have to. Ah, uh, in my hand. Oh. <laughs> Putting it down right next to the side of the grass. And so, we have to go and defeat two of the shard-bearing lords, who are people who hold parts of the Elden Ring, and those are the runes that you're getting. And I thought you'd have to find all of the runes and put them back together to make the Elden Ring. Evidently, you don't. Mm. But, you kill the shard-bearing oh, lords, okay. and I believe the fingers will grant you access to the capital. Someone get, lets you access to the capital after you get two of the runes. Oh, what's your question? So, is the Elden Ring broken into three, or two? Uh, I think it's like seven. Huh. So you have to beat seven bosses to get to the final boss? No. You don't have to technically beat two of the shard brain bosses to get to the final boss. Oh, well, I guess three, because Margaret has a shard too. But, yeah. What is this area, and where is thy map? 
Oh, that's a great question. Where is the map here? This is underneath the capital. We're underneath the tree. These are the tree's roots. Oh. Are those like tree sentinels over there? Yeah. Oh no, those are uh, avatars. How did it take me that far? I don't know. It's just a fucking elevator, right? No, oh, it's just a coffin ride. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Okay, I've got it marked. Mm -hmm. but some of the stories behind, like, the bosses are interesting, and the characters are interesting, too. So, like, um... There's this thing called Destined Death in the game, which at one point we'll have to go get. And mm -hmm. Ronnie stole it and hid it, so it couldn't be used. I don't actually think this is the one we were supposed to go. No, it was not. We can't make that jump. Okay, we can go up. We'll get you something else through here. You might want your lantern. But that was another thing that Ronnie wants to do. She wants to, like, separate us from death and death. And just have death and life be, like, what it's supposed to be. Which is kind of what Fia wants to do, too. She just wants to do it. big ass egg? Literally that. It's an egg. It's like the queen who bursts more ants. Pretty much Fia and Rondi are going about the exact same thing, just in different ways. Oh, there's ants above me, I wonder if they keep fucking dropping. I mean, these bitches are birthing ants as I'm killing them. It must have been a bad middle party. Let go party. Not it. Wow. Wow. Oh, I must have been. How are you doing? That is a legendary incantation. Get you progress on the legendary source stream incantation achievement. I am because I've beaten the game twice now. Got one time left and I'll have all the achievements. I am debating whether or not I'm going to do uh, the lady who sleeps with dead people's ending or not. Because I think hers might be the same as like just ending it, but hers is closer to my girl Ronnie's ending. And I like that. I, like that. I really like Ronnie's ending. I did the bad ending, which is what Shai wants to do just because it's a pain in the ass. It's a bad yeah, ending. <laughs> Like, it's top tier bad ending. Although I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get to get my head the way it looks after the ending, because I kind of looked like fucking Ghost Rider. It was badass. Ah, uh, because it, it's bad. The only good thing that came from it 
was the two like heartthrob characters in the game for everyone. The lady that creeps on you and Ronnie. They become one person. Ow. And they're like Man, these... they're pretty hot. I gotta say. These ants are fucking me up. They need a new queen. We we murdered all the things, remember? So the um, map should be in that gazebo right there. What's that thing on the oh, left? Oh, there's. The fuck is that? I think it's like a uh, gargoyle type thing with, with its wings and shit ripped off. But never actually got close enough to want to really see what it is. Deep root depth. Okay. So this area is so weird. Wait, what's, what's behind us? I see something. The whole way up and out of here is up. You have to go like climb routes up and out. Yes. A uh, crown made of stone that increases her magical power. Vacuum slice. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me put on this one thing for Ben to see. There. <laughs> oh. Well, never mind. I have worn this stupid face for no reason. I have. I have indeed. I'll change it back now, because I don't like this guy anymore. I have collected items for you that I must have had. Yeah, I can just drop Hold shit. Some stuff. There's like, there's rules as to what can be traded, which I found this out the hard way along with me. Because, uh... And by that, he took my fucking sword and couldn't give it back to me. I will give it back, eventually. I just can't now. So... He leveled, I, he leveled yeah. up my katana all the way to 25, and then he couldn't give it back to me because I don't have anything else that's level 25. Oh. Yeah, so then we had to go on a mission to find me a new sword, and I literally was useless for probably about 30 to 45 minutes. Honestly, probably a better sword. <laughs> it's longer. Eh. I don't know. I don't really do the swinging attack. I'm very... <sighs> Good job. <laughs> I very rarely actually, like, slice things with my sword in my game. In yours, since everything takes so much damage, it's nice. God, did I get it again? <laughs> I did not learn the lesson the first time. Jump, Shane, jump. I've always done jump. Oh. I'm out of magic. I don't know why I'm always So what are we doing down here? Uh, we're making progress in the Fia's quest line. Just to like do it, because she's got a boss associated with her. And so, we can get that done and work on that achievement too. Yeah. And then go back to D. Yes. Once her quest line's down, we can do the. Her is like. She's so sad. What her quest oh, line is. Oh, I got. I died. Joy! That was it supposed to be falling. Off. It knocked me off. Anchor yourself. <laughs> Tether a rope to me.
Yeah, basically what happens in Theo's questline, uh, did you get any more oh, Sights so of Grace, or are we really far away? We're really, we're at the first Sights of Grace, because you never told me where any more were. Okay. There's only one other one. It's okay, I can use my sacred key. And it was like... 30 feet from where you died at? Shane. You didn't make it that far, you fell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... How many flasks can you have? Uh, 14. Technically 15, because you get the psychic potion. I have 10. Okay. In clock. And I'm... 5 away from being maxed out. Nice. Yeah, so Fia's fucking... Yes. In Fia's quest, you're... Helping her have sex with a dead god, so she can get pregnant, and um, she gives birth to like the prince of death. But because you're going to take care of it and be the father, it will be the prince of death and life. And so, you'll use it to separate death and life from the Elden Ring that you rebuild with it. And, um, that's basically getting Ronnie's ending, but without doing Ronnie's quest. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do Ronnie's quest, I mean. She's such a good wife. That's your wife. I love my wife. Oh god, the fucking ants are back. Yeah, we don't have to fight them, we can just go around and get your souls. Preferably. Okay. I mean, if they do come after us, I can just, like, pull them. They big ass hands. It's like playing grounded, but these are bigger than a grounded hands. Mm No oh, idea. Oh, those fucking frogs. Oh, well, you definitely shouldn't be killed by those fucking frogs. The ones that inflict death. Mm hmm. Also, must have been death as a status effect in this game. It kills you very fast. <laughs> it seems so redundant. I don't know, he died. He was afflicted with death. I have used death to kill people. It's very effective. Machine, don't do it again. Do what? Fall through? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, I see my souls up there. Yeah. Do you want to have, like, a gap <coughs> behind me so that any fire they breathe can disperse? Without hitting you since it'll spawn from me running. Are you gonna go up there and kill yep. it? Oh, I didn't make it. I made it. Holy oh, shit. To the edge of my toes. And then go kill that one too. I'll try. Oh. I'll be waiting right here for you. Alright. Oh, there's two of them. Hmm. 
Alright. How do I get there from here? Wait, I made it, Mr. Shane. I got up. I made it to the side of Grace, yeah. Wait, side of Grace? Where? What side of Grace? Yeah, side of Grace that you very clearly oh, made it to. No, no. But I see side of Grace. Oh. We'll get to the side of Grace. Oh, I have my finger. You know, that's one of the most common signs in the game, is this try finger butthole. He's not kidding. I don't know if I'll make this fucking call. Is it the root above the side of grace? I do make it. Yeah, you can. That's always the thing where people are convinced that some of the cliffs in the game are hard-coded to kill you if you try jumping down. I kind of believe it, because I've survived some falls that I shouldn't survive, and then I died from some falls I very clearly should have died. Or, yeah, I should have survived. Yes. In the right order. Makes sense. Goobie doo doo. God, I have to wait so far for this one. God. Is there a fog one? Yeah. It doesn't activate until you get all the way to the other side. You can do it. When is it going to activate? When you get to the other side. Okay. What? Chain? Yes. Um, there's a fog wall between... Oh, no, okay, you're here. Oh, thank God. Oh, wait, this guy... Was it meant to be that easy? No, it gets hard. Next to that sorcerer guy that died chose the vine. But this also isn't hard. Now it's hard. Next three people show up. He is champion. He has a fucking dragon head? Yeah. With Scarlet Rot? Oh god, this is bad champion. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, I gotta eat one of those balls. Okay. I know what sword that is. He's also got the dragon's head for fire. That's literally. I already said that. You said Scarlet Rock. Yeah, it is Scarlet Rock. Yeah, he's got a fire, fire. one too. Okay, now what? Did ten people show no. up? Oh no, that's it. Yeah, what do you think it's gonna be hard. really hard? That's not worth an achievement though. It is there now. Or I just figured. Cut a lady. Ah, I knew you what is it to deny us like the dogmatic. But you gotta cuddle her and then you talk in secret while cuddling her. Do it at least three times, because it's time to talk to everyone talking three times. And then, yeah, while well, cuddling. Around then. Hold my head, bitch. And then you get down with that. To the right of the Church of Vows, there's a place called Eastern Tableland. Pretty sure you got that one, you know? I'll be there. Actually, I probably shouldn't be there, because it's totally going to be a fog wall. I'll tell you where to go when you get here. I know, all this fucking stress would cause me. No. Uh, there's a teleporter. Should I take it? If it works. 
I don't remember where it goes. You know. It would not let me take it. You do that, I'll be here. How's she supposed to sleep, though? With her two and a half hour nap? It's impossible! Wait, hun. You should make me some food. <laughs> Please. 